Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to implement uh, Recycler view in your uh, Android application. So I got uh, many requests on this topic. So uh, here it is So first we're going to add a recycler view inside our uh, main activity layout So you we will get this uh, message and just click OK and this will basically add uh, uh, automatically uh, implementation inside our uh, build gradle module application file here so as you can see there it is okay so now that we have that um, we need to set our recycler view width and height to match the parent so it's already a default value so uh, that's good so we can proceed next uh, next what we are going to do we are going to create uh, two string arrays so we're going to open our strings xml file and uh, here we're going to add uh, two string arrays. So the first string array will be named um, programming uh, languages. So uh, here we're going to create 10 different uh, names for our programming languages. So I have already chose a list of uh, languages which uh, I will use in this uh, example. I have also downloaded uh, those uh, images for those uh, programming languages. And uh, we need to follow the order of uh, those uh, uh, language titles inside our string array so uh, as you can see I'm almost done and uh, next the second string array uh, will be uh, just a description for those uh, for each of those uh, programming languages but uh, I won't uh, be typing different uh, description for each of those languages I will just copy uh, and paste uh, this simple uh, item here this is a random description and we will use this description for for all of those uh, uh, programming languages. So uh, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to head over to main activity and there we are going to create two string arrays as well and one uh, integer array. So inside our two first uh, string arrays, we are going to uh, set our uh, programming language titles and uh, description. And in the second one, we are going to uh, use our uh, our images so I'm going to copy and paste those uh, images inside our drawable directory here okay and I'm just going to paste that here okay and now uh, we're going to uh, initialize those uh, images uh, inside uh, our integer array so remember to follow the order in which we uh, use the our uh, programming language uh, titles so the first one is C++, the second C Sharp, uh, next Java, uh, JavaScript, uh, next is uh, Kotlin, Python, Ruby, Swift, TypeScript and uh, Visual Studio. So remember to uh, follow that order because um, we're going to need that uh, inside our um, recycler view, you will see. Okay, and uh, Visual Studio, so that's it. All right. So uh, next in our uh, onCreate method, uh, we are going to uh, get a resource and uh, use a getStringArray method. So we are going to store our uh, string array uh, for the programming languages inside our uh, string variable s1. And uh, inside our variable s2, we are going to store a string array for descriptions. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, we're going to add uh, the ID for our recycler view. So we forgot that to add that. So here uh, we're just going to type ID and the new ID will be, for example, recycler view. It's just that simple. We don't need to complicate this. So um, inside our main activity, we're just going to add the recycler view object. And inside on create method, we are going to uh, find the ID uh, for our recycler view. Okay, just type that equals to find the ID, find view by ID, and just type r dot uh, id dot recycler view. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to create a new uh, Java class. So this class will be basically a recycler view adapter. So I will call this uh, my adapter, and just click OK. All right. Uh, next, uh, we're going to uh, this class will extend uh, 
one more class, which is uh, recycler view dot uh, adapter. Okay, recycler view dot uh, adapter, and uh, we need to pass one parameter here inside, and uh, that will be our uh, inner class. So we're going to create a new inner class named uh, my view holder. So we're going to create this uh, inner class inside our main adapter class. So just click this. Okay. And uh, we have another inner class inside our main uh, my, my adapter. Okay, so we need to uh, extend another class, uh, which is uh, recycler view uh, dot uh, view holder. And uh, here we need to uh, we need to add a constructor, of course, for our new class. And for our main class, which is my adapter, we need to implement uh, implement a uh, few methods here. So those are on create view holder, on bind view holder, and get item count. So don't uh, be scared of those uh, uh, of those methods. I will explain uh, everything you need to know. Okay. So there is one more thing we need to add inside our main uh, my adapter, and uh, that's a constructor. So just type uh, public uh, my adapter, and uh, we need to add uh, four parameters. The first parameter is, of course, a context. The second parameter uh, will be basically a string array for uh, titles, for um, programming languages titles. Uh, and the second one will be for uh, descriptions. So create another string array. And the third one will be array for uh, images. So will be integer array. Okay. And uh, now uh, on top of that, uh, we are going to add um, uh, context and uh, of course uh, we're going to create new variables to hold our uh, uh, values which we will pass uh, inside uh, our main activity so um, just add that those four and uh, now we are going to store those uh, those values inside our uh, constructor so just type data1 equals to s1 data2 equals to s2 and um, image images equals to images. So I think we should change uh, uh, this parameter here to img maybe, so we can uh, recognize each other. Okay, now now it looks better. Okay, and uh, now that we have created that, uh, I think we can uh, initialize our class now inside the main activity and pass all the values which uh, are necessary for this project. So here in onCreate method, we are going to uh, initialize our new class and we're going to create a my adapter object here and we're going to pass four parameters. So the first parameter is context, which is main activity, this. Uh, the second parameter is um, uh, this string uh, array for uh, titles, the second one for description and the third one for uh, images. All right, so uh, now we are we have uh, passed those uh, values here uh, from main activity to my adapter class and uh, now we are going to start working with our uh, adapter class so as you can see uh, now that we have passed all those uh, values here we can proceed and uh, start with the uh, on create view holder uh, method here inside Okay, but uh, before that, I'm going to create a new layout resource file and I'm going to name that uh, my row. So this, this layout will represent uh, each and every row inside our recycler view. I'm going to switch from linear layout to, con uh, to constraint layout, so it will be easier for me to design appropriate uh, recycler view. So uh, I'm going to add here a card view here. So uh, just click OK and it will, auto uh, it will automatically add the uh, dependency inside the build, uh, inside our Gradle build file. OK, as you can see, it's auto automatically added. So inside our card view, uh, we're going to add uh, one image view and two text views. But before that, I want to add one more, uh, uh, one more constraint layout inside the card view because I want to be able to uh, to design those uh, image views and uh, text views uh, more easily. So uh, image view here, I'll just select the uh, default image for uh, for Android 
Okay, and two text views. So um, now let me just uh, design those uh, text views on the right side a little bit. So the first one will be a title, the second one will be description. And um, I'm just going to connect those constraints here uh, with the first text view will be constrained to an uh, image view. So before that I want to change the IDs of those uh, UI elements. So maybe programming language uh, text and description text. Maybe uh, for the image view we can say uh, my image view. And I think we should, uh, short, uh, we, we should uh, make shorter ID for uh, text views. So I'm just going to say uh, my text view 1 and uh, my text 2 for example. Okay. Okay, and uh, for a text I will just type here a title and down below description. So I might uh, change some style and uh, text size for those text views. So text size for the title will be 24 SP, text style bold and uh, for the description text size 16 SP and uh, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to connect those constraints uh, here on the left. So as you can see I will set 20 uh, margin on the left top constraint to a parent so uh, that will be maybe 5 margin from the top and for the description I will uh, connect the left constraint to a left constraint for a title uh, top constraint to a title and that's it so now uh, we are going to add uh, to populate this row inside our uh, uh, my adapter class but you uh, but remember uh, your uh, constraint layout uh, root layout needs to have a uh, wrap content height because if you set the uh, height uh, to be match parent you will only see one uh, row inside your recycler view so that's pretty much important okay so you can set basically width and height for this image view uh, as you wish you can set a fixed size for example 100 dp width and height but in this case uh, I already chose uh, width and height for my images. So inside our onCreateView holder I'm going to create a layout inflator uh, object and uh, I'm going to uh, inflate this uh, my row XML file. Okay and the second parameter will be actually a parent instead of this uh, false. So the second parameter will be parent and the third one will be false. Okay. Now I'm going to store this inflator inside the view so we can return the view actually. So um, now uh, this on create view holder is actually connected to my view holder uh, class down below. So now we're going to pass view inside uh, my view holder class here. As you can see, so I'm passing this view uh, in this uh, class down below. And now in this my view holder method we are going to receive that view from above and uh, we are going to um, find the ID of uh, our UI elements like two text uh, views and one image view. So now let's create text view objects for uh, uh, title and description. Let's name them just simply my text one and my text two and uh, one uh, image view object as well for our uh, images. So here inside our my view holder method we are going to actually find the ID by using uh, item view here. So let's find the ID. Uh, it is uh, my text one. For my text two uh, the ID is my text two of course. And for um, image view uh, my image view. All right, item view dot find view by ID. Okay, in my image view. That's fine. So uh, now that we have that, uh, we can proceed to on bin view holder. So basically, uh, my view holder is communicating with uh, on bin view holder. So as you can see, as a parameter here, we have a my view holder class. Uh, that means um, that means uh, we will now uh, set text uh, to our two text views and one image view inside on bin view holder. So here. We are using holder to find our text, uh, my text one, to set the text. So here I'm going to set uh, dynamically uh, this uh, text one. So just type holder dot my text two dot set text as well. And on the image view we are going to use a method uh, set image resource, and we are going to use uh, as well position to dynamically 
add those uh, inside our recycler view. Okay, so now that, now that we have finished that, uh, I'm going to uh, create, I'm going to set an adapter inside our own create method. And uh, here I'm going to set the layout manager to a new linear layout manager. And I'm going to pass the context. Okay, so now let's check our application to see how it looks like. Uh, I think uh, I forgot to add something and I think I know uh, what it is. So go back to my adapter um, Java class and uh, there we forgot to uh, to check out our method uh, item count. So we will see that now. Okay, this is everything is fine here. So here on get item count we need to pass the number of uh, items we have in our uh, arrays so uh, that's basically a number of 10 but we can get that dynamically by using a length uh, method uh, from images my text one or my text two it doesn't matter and there it is so we have successfully added uh, those items inside our recycler view and of course you can decrease the size of those uh, image views here in uh, my row uh, layout but for now let's uh, stay that way and i will add the uh, layout margin of 10 so now those uh, those uh, rows are uh, separated by uh, 10 dp so that's it for this uh, tutorial thank you for watching guys please like this video if you find it helpful and uh, in the next video i'm going to show you how to implement on click listener for those uh, items